In the last video, uh, we touched on the concept of intellectual property, creations of the mind, literary or artistic works, uh, images, designs, software, web content and so on. And in this session, we look at uh, the three different forms of protection, copyright, trademarks and patents. We explore what copyright can offer you. We learn what isn't protected and there are some real surprises there. There are three ways of protecting different types of intellectual property. Patent, trademark and copyright. <coughs> Excuse me. For example, graphic designers will use copyright to protect their work, but product designers will have to patent theirs. Don't worry, in the handout following this video uh, you'll find a link where you can check which type of protection best suits your work of art. Patents. Patents are primarily about inventions and your invention has to be new, not just a modification, and it has to be something that can be physically made and physically used. So for example, you can't patent a new theory. Trademarks. This is the easiest to understand. Trademarks protect something that's used to identify where a product or a service comes from. A trademark describes something. It's not the thing being described. A logo is the most obvious example, though it could be an audio recording. Now, remember that little tune that used to represent Intel Inside? <laughs> Or the wake-up music that used to accompany windows while it was being loaded? Copyright. In this course we focus on copyright. Copyright is all about protecting creative works, such as um, written work. And that can include content on websites, published novels and articles. Computer software photos and illustrations, TV, movies and audio recordings, dramatic and artistic works and performances. I guess um, a rough rule of thumb is that copyright relates to the arty farty stuff. And from now on, in this session, we're talking copyright. What exactly does copyright protection buy you? It buys you two things. First, it stops other people from using what you created without your permission. Secondly, it allows you to charge people for the right to use your creation. Now, we, we've roughly described copyright as protecting creative work, but it doesn't cover everything. So, what is excluded? Ideas. You cannot protect an idea. So, for example, suppose you develop the plot for a novel, you can't protect that. But once you've written the book, you can protect the words that you've written. Pure facts. You cannot protect facts. I live in an old vicarage and, and the ancient churchyard is about half a mile away. Suppose I compile a list of gravestones. Because they are facts, I can't copyright the list. But if I write a brief history of the churchyard that includes the list, I can copyright the words I used to describe the history. Anything not fixed. The legalese says that um, to qualify for copyright protection, the item needs to be an original work that is fixed in any tangible medium of expression. What on earth does that mean? What it means is you've written it down on your scratch pad painted it onto a display board, saved it to your hard drive or dongle, made it into a film or an audio file, printed it. In other words, if it can't be seen or heard, it can't be protected by copyright. For example, if, if you're a, a choreographer, that dance routine in your head can't be copyright. But once you've committed it to paper or to film, it can. Not only can you not copyright ideas, you can't copyright very short things like titles or names or, or anything that didn't require a level of creativity. 
and I, I guess that's pretty bad news uh, for a lot of modern artists. So um, if you come up with a clever marketing tagline, we try harder, you can't copyright it, it's too short, but you might be able to trademark it. Don't be phased by these exceptions. In practice, it shouldn't be difficult for you to decide whether your masterpiece qualifies for copyright or not. And remember, each of these videos is followed by a hard copy PDF that you can download and print off. In our next session, we're going to learn how to copyright your masterpiece. See you soon.